Hi everyone, this is the third video in a six part series of videos in which I'm sharing what my two year old daughter is doing for developing early math skills. I have uploaded two videos already covering mathematical reasoning by the Critical Thinking Company and the preschool math program by MyTeachingStation.com. If you're interested in having a look at those videos, I will leave links to all of them in the description box below. The way I have set these videos up is to just start off with a bit of background information about the math curriculum and then give an example of how I do the lessons with my two-year-old daughter. In this video, I'm going to be talking about Singapore Early Bird Kindergarten Math Textbook A, which is what my daughter is currently in the middle of completing. I have already done a complete flip through and review of this curriculum, so I'm not going to go into much detail, but I will leave a link to that above. There are four books in this series, and the program is divided into two levels, A and B. Each level has a textbook and an activity book to complete. It's a very colorful, engaging, hands-on math program. At the end, there is a section called Math at Home, which I think is a nice touch because it's another way to bring to life the different concepts that are introduced in these books. I used it with my son when he was about two and a half and he thoroughly enjoyed it. And now my daughter is enjoying this as well. The activity books are designed to reinforce the concepts even more. So that's a plus. You don't have to use the activity books if you don't want to, but having them means that if your child needs a little bit of extra help with a particular topic, then you have a go-to and you can just do a little bit more to work on developing those skills. Now, my daughter has been practicing writing her letters and numbers, so she does know how to write. But sometimes when I'm working with her on these various curricula, I do like to break things up and use different manipulatives. So sometimes I use number tiles, attribute blocks, interlocking cubes and so forth. And that just makes it even more fun. One, two, three, four. One, two, Three, four. Four. Five, Can you count the number of ducks? One, two, three, four, five. That's right. Can you find number five? That's it. Can you count the number of chickens? One, two, three. That's it. Can you count the number of cows? One, two, three. That's it. Can you count the number of cars? Two. That's it. And can you count the number of trees? One, two, three. That's right. <laughs> Good job. How many monkeys do we have? Horses are there. One, two, three, four, five. That's it. Can you count how many lines there are? Two. That's it. And how many elephants are there? Three. That's right. Good job. I hope this video has been helpful and thanks a bunch for watching.